it out. Well, are you just now talking about playing with the, uh, was it Ernest Tubb? Right, Ernest Tubb Packing Show. I was a bass player. Ernest, Ernest is upright bass player. He got sick. He gave me the job temporary. Uh -huh. Then I was temporary with Ernest back and forth for a long time. Then later he got me a job with Fan Young, worked him two years. Then Ernest bass player will retire, and I worked with him for a good while. Then after his name was uh, Jack, uh, I can't say his last name was born. Great, Jack Gray. Jack Gray. Jack Gray, D R A K E. Oh. His, his uh, brother was Pete Drake, one of the finest steel guitar players in the country. And they were brothers. They were, mm -hmm. And I I got the job actually, otherwise, I don't get some. If I went to Nashville and tried to get a job, I don't guess they let to take out the axe trays. Oh, well, I bet they would have. <laughs> well, now, you was with Farron Young. How long did you play with? Years. Two years. And how long did you with Ernest? Oh, I don't off and on seven or eight years. Oh, really? Full-time and part-time. Even after I let one quit, you know, I learned to work a lot of weekends uh -huh. with him. Did you play on the Grand Ole Opry with him? I did a couple of times. A couple of times? But I wasn't, no. Usually, he had his staff group. Yeah, yeah. The staff group, you sign up on the operator, and the artists come in, and you get with them, and if they need a bass player, mm -hmm. guitar player, it's, it's strange. They'd ask to play with them, and they get, I think it's $12. Oh, really? Back then, that a long time ago. Yeah, or maybe do one or two songs. Yeah. Like that was about the price. What years was that? Do you kind of oh, remember? Oh, back in the early 50s. Early 50s, yeah. And mid 50s. You, you got any stories about Fair and Young? Uh, he treated me nice. Oh, he carried on a little bit with him. He'd wink at me and he just, it was a joke with him. What is he? He'd wink at me. He knew I was just, and knew he was carrying yeah. on with him. It didn't bother me the least bit. Well, they really tell some stories on him on TV about how yeah. he used to drink. Uh, it may have been true. I didn't experience that. But see, I, I, Ernest, I mean, a fair and chain. Uh, I don't know what I would have done. His wife, Hilda, you know, she, she got attracted to him. He's a young, he was a young man. She's a young lady. But uh, his manager got sick. And, uh, Ernest is manager? Yeah, he's the one who really put him on top. Oh, okay. Okay, he got sick with cancer and died a short while. And then uh, his wife, Susan, was divorced and got custody of all the children and turned the children against him. And I don't know what I would have done if I'd have been in Farron's place. Uh, everything happened at the wrong time. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe one of them, but he had. He ran into the air. He was very good. Hmm. And uh, he just looked up to him. Yeah. He was, he was special to him. Yeah. Way. He sure had a lot of good songs. He did. Uh, and well, I think the song, Willie Nelson, they said, uh, they made fun of him on a hell of a wall. Uh, they said it won't, have, uh, won't get off the ground. It, and about a month later, he told us, Here, here's a report now. He didn't get off the ground. That was, his big, that was the biggest song he had, wasn't it? No, well, he had, pretty, he had some big songs. That was one of the big uh -huh. ones. He had some big ones. Uh, a friend of mine, Bob Thompson, who li he lives in Paris, and he's in a wheelchair because he's in the Vietnam War, and he's got a lot of a lot of problems from that Agent Orange. Mm -hmm. and uh, But he just absolutely loves the music. He would love to just sit and talk to you or anybody that's got anything to do with music. He well, just loves it. Sometime. And uh, I thought maybe I'd show him. And he sent me. <clears throat> I've told him and showed him pictures of you. And I've got that picture of you as Big Chief Ken McDaniel. Right. And he sent me an article that he found on the web on, on a website. Where Big Chief Ken McDaniel was playing, opening up a show or something with Elvis Presley. Did you? Uh, did, do you remember anything about that? I, I don't. I didn't. Know, I didn't open the show. I opened the show for a lot of people. But I didn't. Know, Not it, Elvis. He was, and it worked with Hank Thompson for. A, uh, he was quit putting a band together. Rough situation. I don't think he would have hired me. Yeah. Because, uh, but it worked. It worked with him. He was out of band there. Was, yeah. Musicians, they just can't travel like some of them. Yeah, yeah. Burn out. Mm-hmm. 
But you never did know Elvis or nothing about Elvis. Well, I knew him, but I didn't. I don't, you never played with him, no. no. Well, I was thinking that that, ar- that don't think so. article. Now, uh, uh, Hugh Conger today picked up something where I had played with him. Remember the Willis brother? Mm-hmm. Okay, I had worked with him. You know, uh, down somewhere, he found a picture of me where I was working with the Willis brother. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he came about it. Someone sent a picture. Or, I don't he might have got that on the internet, reckon. He may have. You can just find all kind of stuff on the internet. They say you can. I got to go, Donald. I'm running late. Here. Well, I I mean, thanks, a lot, for, thanks a lot for the pictures, Kenneth. Yeah, thanks a lot. I, Beer, they're different. You don't find them every day like no, that. No. I'm going to put this one here. Uh, and people put a lot of old pictures on a... Uh, on websites, and there's one particular website. I'm going to put this picture on there. A lot of people will be glad to see that picture. Well, that's old 23rd District in Henry County, which is, uh, you know, the history of it now. It's yeah. On Refuge Day right now. And I tell you another story about that picture. You mean Mr. Hudson's up here? They bought that church, uh, I keep calling it church, that school. And uh, the Herschel up here, Herschel Hudson. Day, and Edward got enough material out of that to build it. three houses. Oh, really? Not the house that Edward, I mean, Herschel lived in now. Yeah. But they got... They built three houses out of that. Uh, and you, you went to school here until, until you got in the 10th grade, and then you went to Springwood. We went to Springwood. Everybody. In the 11th and the 12th. That's where they all went. I got to run. Okay, Kenneth. Nice to talk to you.